moms as unstoppable because they're very present to the love that they have for their children and their families. And their only special interest is the well-being of their families. You know, they're not a corporation, they're not an organization that has a certain agenda. They just want to take care of their families. Now, dads do too, um, but we're run by moms and we're, you know, supporting moms because often their voice is uh, diminished and we would like to amplify the voice of moms. And frankly, we've been told by legislators that uh, moms are hot, that they are actually afraid of moms. And when moms show up, that, you know, they mean business. And uh, we're seeing that across the country now. Mom activists are taking action. They're showing up at their legislators, their senators. Uh, they're marching in parades, which we've uh, instigated, we're very happy about, and doing all kinds of things in their communities and their neighborhoods to raise awareness about health and empowerment. And we're very excited about that. Regardless of what happens with the GMO labeling, whether we get to see GMO on the package or not, I want to put forward that what's most important is what happens on your table in your home. The choice that you make as the person who's purchasing the food, that's the gateway right there. And if you see USDA organic and non-GMO project verified on the package together, that's the gold standard. That's what we want because they've been tested and verified and they do not allow not only GMOs, but toxic chemicals like glyphosate, which is in Roundup. We wanna avoid that as much as we possibly can. Now, uh, so that means buying organic and non-GMO project verified together, growing your own food, knowing your farmer, asking those questions, questions is, your, is the livestock grass fed, questions like that. So start making, becoming aware of making those choices in your home, regardless of what happens out in the world. We citizens are going to continue to hold corporations to account for poisoning our families and our water and our food, our vaccines and our environment. We will no longer tolerate this. This is the time to end this chemical era right now. We have to end it now. We have one out of five people in America with mental illness, and that is largely due to the neurotoxins that they're being exposed to. So it's time to stop the exposure to toxic chemicals, to take a stand for our health, to speak up, to stand up, to join in parades or have movie night speaker series, get involved. You can go to momsacrossamerica.org and get involved today. We invite you to do that.